side uh, in place of Mateo Kovacic, who uh, drops to the bench for Real Madrid. Uh, would Madridistas watching in the Bernabeu today uh, be at all concerned about lack of depth in this squad? Or do you think that Zidane's going to go, right, we can go with what we've got here? Well, yeah, I think uh, the appearance of uh, Morata, of course, and Marcos Asensio suggests that they do, they do have depth. Uh, they may be concerned about Isco, even though he's not here uh, and he's got an ankle injury. He hasn't, uh, he hasn't been regular enough to be uh, climbing a pace in the, in the lineup. James as well, he doesn't like to be on the bench, but generally, uh, this is a strong side, this is a strong squad. As far as Celta Vigo are concerned, Marcelino, obviously they've sold Nolito to Manchester City. And uh, they have brought in um, a man called Pione Sisto, who will mm -hmm. be on the bench today. Mm -hmm. Is he the answer? And what are you expecting from Celta Vigo briefly? Uh, well, I watched the game uh, last weekend against uh, Eva. Uh, sorry, Leganes. Pepe has come back from a celebration of the Euros with an injury. And there's Gareth Bale, brilliant ball to Morata. Takes it in his stride. It's all about pace with Real Madrid these days. And he's well bundled off the ball. The goalkeeper goes to ground. And Cabral carries it out of a difficult situation. Some hesitant defending there from Celta Vigo. They had the numbers back. Moretto, Moretto working the channel. Good skill to get away from Ron Caglia. You see Cabral gets across just in the nick of time. But between them and the goalkeeper. Almost mess up the opportunity to clear. Side. He gives it to Gareth Bale, who wasn't expecting it. Now to Morata, makes space for himself and tried to loop it. Good play from Asensio. A couple of options, chose the, the more difficult pass. Essentially an attack to Morata rather than the obvious one. Out wide to Marcelo. You can actually see Bale pointing to where Marcelo was then. Effectively <laughs> saying. Marcelo. Well, begins his movement. Maya back to keeper Sergio Alvarez. It was a poor kick from the goalkeeper straight to Modric, who tries to punish him. Apologies from the goalkeeper, Sergio Alvarez. Poor clearance picked up by Luka Modric. He's up his options and goes direct for goal himself. Decent strike down the centre goal on a rather comfortable save for Sergio Alvarez eventually. There's a long draw back for this is good at it. It's drawn Ramos out of the centre. That's again with an adventurous shot. Ravens work really hard, aren't they? Sort of ego players, particularly midfield players. Responsible for giving their text. Great run from Bongonda puts in a dangerous cross and a con hurdles Moran. He has Gudetti and Vass alongside him. Oh, and he was dreaming of glory at the Bernabeu for himself. So his name up in lights. That just exemplifies the lackluster approach of the game so far from Real Madrid. Place to see defending. Ramos is slow to get across to Bongonda. I think she makes a real mess of that chance. It's a real promising attack for Celta Vigo, Gradetti. Modric. Which option does he take? The solo one, and he, well, he cracks the bar and he's beaten the goalkeeper. So maybe it was the right decision, but there looked to be other options on. It's exactly the player you need in this situation. Real Madrid he's trying to drive his teammates on, shows really good skill. Determination, you can see his head looking around, seeing who's available for a pass. It's closer and closer to the edge of the box, and unleashes a terrific attempt. Real well, Madrid really unlucky there not to have taken the lead. That's four years ago. Cruz. Good feet. Bale. Modric again, and a brilliant save by Sergio Alvarez. Three really good attempts from Luka Modric. You can see his frustration and understand his frustration. Good build-up play, nice little layoff from Gareth. And again, an attempt on target from Luka Modric. 
Tony Cruz to the mid post. Bale is there. Right at the head of things. Well, he is uh, one goal away from his 50 for Real Madrid in La Liga. 16 of his goals have been from headers. And certainly no surprise to see him attacking the, the set piece. And the pressure from defenders, but it probably feel he should have got that on target. On Gunda. Drops the shoulder, gets in the cross for rounds there again. Oriana. Toe to toe with Modric. Gets round Carver House. A decent cross. Marcelo is there. Brown. Bale. Cleverly makes some space for himself and well, put in a, a shot that had some zip, but was always savable for Sergio Alvarez. The fortunes. Real struggling to get out of their own half, having to batten down the hatches. Always sailing over the shot from Johnny Otto. That player there, Fio Bogondo, is showing real talent. Usually results. They attack for Celta Vigo with an attempt from distance. And Johnny Otto, the fullback. Bogondo does look the player. He's cool. Not a good clearance. Casemiro. Asensio. Good feet from the youngster. And not a bad shot. He had the goalkeeper concerned. That was much better from Real Madrid. Quick thinking at the set piece. He managed to, to keep the ball in the danger area by winning the ball back quickly. Working harder, then their skill and quality will begin to have an impact on the game. I think it would have been a harsh penalty. Johnny Otto doing his best to, to get himself out of the way. I can move the ball into the middle. This is more favourable in terms of angle for Gareth Bale, isn't it? One metre further out, the bail has the goalkeeper flying. Did take a touch. Certainly favoured the, the left footed player. And it's a much better attempt than his previous attempt. Gets it over the wall. Johnny Otto. There is Bale. Rats are closing down the keeper, Alvarez. Spani Modric with virtually every clearance. Here's a big chance for the youngster Asensio, who doesn't take it, but he's shown exactly how to do it by Alvaro Morata. It's taken them almost an hour to crack the code of Celta de Vigo. Well, it's a gift from Celta Vigo, and one that is gratefully snapped up by Alvaro Morata. I think it's fair to say Sergio Alvarez isn't going to be any shopping list of Pep Guardiola's. <laughs> it's three or four times tonight he's made a real mess of, of clearances. And it's a weakness. And Real Madrid have just made the most of it. Asensio should score. It's a tame finish from the youngster. But it's certainly far from a tame finish, finish from Alvaro Morata. You see he just tries to scoop the ball over the goalkeeper. And Morata just puts his foot through it, finds the space just inside that post. Johnny was back on the goal line, trying to help out his teammate. But Morata enjoying the rough and tumble in the centre of midfield and trying to fly one in as well. Well, he's developing in confidence game by game, Casemiro. And again, the red example of Real Madrid showing more urgency in the second half. Casemiro biting into the challenge. Takes on the attempt, you can see his attempt there, wraps his foot around it. Doesn't just go for power, he tries to curl it. Starts it outside. Real well, would need the second goal to be certain against this organised and spirited team. Here goes Morata, a little dark from Morata, turns on the burners. Oh, and he thought he'd finish it there. Close to the perfect judgment. Asensio to Modric. Carver Hal cuts it across. He'd just gone a fraction too early. That was unfortunate for Morata. 
see Tony Kroos, something Real Madrid have done better. Winning the ball back, Morata. Fantastic centre forward play. There's the pace and the, the power to get away from. Johnny Otto. Madoya to Vass. Goodetti. Oriana with some space. And a brilliant goal. A mark of class from Celta de Vigo. And they stun the Bernabeu. It's a really good goal from Fabian Oriana. A key player for Celta. Until this point in the game, he's been, I think, relatively quiet. He has got real quality, given time and space. And patient build up from Celta Vigo. Gudetti offers himself up well. Centre forward holds the ball up, oh, lays it off at the right time. It's a skillful finish from Oriana. He hasn't just gone for power. He's seen the space, wraps his foot around it, just elevates it over Kiko Casillo, who's just drifted off his line. That's a, that's a good finish. There's a little firework of the player, Fabian Oriana. Scored seven goals last season. Morata. Great run from James, and then his uh, legs gave way in the area under challenge from Moncaglia. Hints of an appeal here from Real Madrid. James Rodriguez involved in the build up, little give and go with Alvaro Morata. Oh, brilliant little step over. Bale is there, the goalkeeper will just about get it out. Wasn't the strongest of headers by Bale. It wasn't the most convincing of saves by Alvarez, but he keeps it 1 1. Again, it's good attack and play from Real Madrid. Lucas Vasquez gets his head up, spots Gareth Bale in there. Puts it right on the head of the Welshman. And the header, his aim is pretty central. That, again, it should have been a more comfortable save for the goalkeeper. The youngster, Diop, is blocked by Casemiro. James. Oh, charges it down. Vasquez. Rolls the ball back. Cruz winds it up. Perfectly placed. Perfectly tight. Charlie Cruz to the rescue. Fantastic technique from Charlie Cruz. The game had really opened up. The goal coming. Celta at their moments. Counter attacks. Loads of space in midfield. Tony Cruz gets the opportunity to get forward. As Real Madrid goes searching for the winning goal. Lucas Vasquez involved. Javier Rodriguez initially gives away the ball. He shows quick thinking to win it back quickly. Lucas Vasquez bides his time. Sets it up perfectly for Tony Kroos, not too much weight on the pass. The weight is absolutely perfect for Tony Kroos to step onto it, take it on first time, and the technique there inch perfect from Tony Kroos. Curls the ball along the floor. No chance for the goalkeeper to make a save on that occasion. And the camera capturing perfectly the delight and relief of Real Madrid. Heavy weights to get at the... Moncoglia, Cabral. Moriana takes the corner. Casilla, the goalkeeper, comes a long way and, well, he needs defenders to retreat onto the goal. He can convincing, but I think uh, the majority are. There's Lucas Vasquez. Vasquez with a shot. He slips at the vital moment. Always to add an extra goal, and that's what they're trying to do. James, well, tested. Gareth Bale takes his time, considering putting the ball out of play, because Celta have a man down, but he continues the run. There is Bale, cheeky.
Well, that's the final kick of the game. It hasn't been a classic from Real Madrid.